Remember the first stories you heard or read? Probably one of your favorites was about Farmer Brown, who had all kinds of animals. <laughs> Cows, chicken, pig, sheep, horses. And he raised all kinds of crops, like wheat and corn. And Farmer Brown usually had a garden for growing vegetables and an orchard where he picked apples and other fruit. But if we were to look for this kind of general farm today in Michigan, as well as throughout the country, we would find that it is fast disappearing. What is a farm really like today? Well, as a class, you might want to see and hear a modern Michigan farm. Yeah, man, that'd be fun. Okay. Okay. Hey, what's that? I don't know. Listen, what kind of farm is this? Hey, what is it? Gee, I don't know. It sounds like a factory. Now here, this ought to help. I know, I know. It's a milking machine, so it must be a dairy farm. Right, it is a dairy farm. Now, this is one of approximately 10,000 dairy farms in Michigan which produce the milk we drink every day. For more and more... Dairy farmers, such as this one, are becoming specialists. They concentrate on producing more and better quality milk instead of raising all kinds of animals and crops. Let's learn more about Michigan dairy foods and the changed world of Farmer Brown. Most of our milk today comes from a modern dairy farm like this somewhere in Michigan. It's a very different place from the farm your mother and father knew or visited when they were your age, and different from the farm you learned about in that favorite Farmer Brown story. Today, the dairy farmer is a skilled specialist, a man who must know a great deal about his industry to be successful. Each modern dairy farmer carefully selects the animals that he adds to his dairy herd. From the beginning, they are bred from proven stock to be the best possible milk producers. A good dairy cow such as this one can be worth as much as $375 to $700. The cost will reflect the purity of breed. The modern dairy farmer very carefully keeps individual records of the amount and quality of milk his cows produce. He works from facts, not guesses. The specialized dairy farmer knows that cows need a carefully balanced diet, which might include grazing as well as grain and special vitamin supplements. And the next step is just as important. Getting the milk from the cow and maintaining its high quality. But I'd rather get my milk from a curtain than from a cow. Of course, most of us only see milk in cartons or bottles, but actually, it flows automatically from the milking machine which is attached to the cow through the pipeline from the milking barn directly into sealed milk storage tanks. The milk itself is untouched by human hands. It's immediately cooled to a constant 45 degrees to maintain the quality and taste. You can see the milk flowing through the clear plastic tube into a modern refrigerated tank truck which will maintain that same 45 degree temperature until the milk is delivered to the processing plant. It will be used as fresh, fluid, whole milk, or it will become one of the many other dairy foods we like so much. The imagination of Michigan's progressive dairy industry has led to all kinds of dairy foods, many of which didn't even exist just a few years ago. These are just a few of the dairy foods you see whenever you go to a grocery store. Well, I like all kinds of milk, but especially chocolate milk. Well, what's the difference between chocolate milk and chocolate dairy drink? Well, the chocolate milk is made with whole milk, while the chocolate dairy drink is made with skim milk. What's the difference between whole milk and skim milk? Well, fresh, fluid whole milk is just what it's called. It contains all the parts of milk that are present when it comes from the cow. This includes the butter fat sometimes called milk fat. Under Michigan law, the whole fresh milk we purchase must contain no less than 3.5% butter fat. Skim milk, on the other hand, is fresh whole milk with its butter fat removed. All of the other nutrients remain in skim milk except vitamin A, which is fat-soluble and therefore stays in the butter fat. 
Vitamins A and D, as well as some milk solids, are usually added back to skim milk. As you might guess, fortified skim milk is often preferred by people who want to reduce the number of calories they consume and still get the good nutrients of milk. Of course, when the dairy separates the butterfat from the rest of the milk, it still doesn't look like butterfat. And that's because it's cream, a delicious dairy food with at least 18% butterfat. Uh, we like cream for its special rich flavor with cereal or desserts. Do you know what butterfat really looks like? I know, it looks like butter. Right. I think we all agree that the special flavor of butter makes it another of our favorite dairy foods. Perhaps you've made butter yourself in school. You simply beat or churn fresh cream until the tiny particles of butterfat join together in lumps of butter. And the liquid part that remains can be still another dairy food, buttermilk, which has a special tangy taste and smooth, heavy body that people like. Today, however, most of the buttermilk we buy is not the liquid that is left from the butter-making process. Buttermilk that is produced in commercial dairies is called cultured buttermilk. It is prepared by adding an especially made culture of bacteria to skim milk. Up to 1% of butterfat in the form of butter granules is sometimes added. But how much butter can you make, say, from a quart of cream? Maybe it would be easier to think of it this way. From 10 quarts of whole milk, you can get about 3 and a third quarts of cream, which will make about 1 pound of butter. Did you know that more than 33 million pounds of butter are produced in Michigan each year? Well, if butter comes from cream and we use so much cream for butter, where do we get our ice cream? Well, <laughs> there's still plenty of cream left because each year Michigan dairy farms produce between four and five billion pounds of fresh fluid whole milk. Now that's a lot of zeros after the four or five, isn't it? And it's a lot of milk and a lot of cream that can be used for ice cream as well as all other dairy foods. Did you know that each year Michigan makes more than 36,870,000 gallons of ice cream? Well, that's enough ice cream for the cartons to reach from Detroit to the Mackinac Bridge five times over. Make mine chocolate marble. Mmm, vanilla. Strawberry. And cheese. Michigan produces many different kinds of delicious processed cheese. Some sharp and tangy tasting, others mild. In fact, more than 22 and a half million pounds of Michigan-made cheese reaches our stores each year. But what's the difference between processed cheese and cottage cheese? Yeah, cottage cheese, you can keep it. I like it. Me too. Cottage cheese is a fresh dairy food made by adding a curdling producing substance called rennet to fresh skim milk. Now this causes the milk protein to coagulate into small lumps called curds. The liquid that is left, called whey, is drained off. Hey, remember how little Miss Muffet enjoyed cottage cheese? She sat on her tuffet eating both curds and whey. And by the way, <laughs> more than 55 million pounds of cottage cheese are produced in Michigan each year. That suggests that cottage cheese is one of our favorite dairy foods. Processed or hard cheese comes in a wide variety of flavors and textures. Each type is made by starting with a soft curd similar to cottage cheese. But then different types of especially prepared bacteria are added and the cheese is allowed to age or cure under conditions that allow the bacteria to produce distinctive flavors and textures. Actually, fresh whole milk can be changed into so many different good foods that there's always something to please everyone. And all these dairy foods offer the same nutritional qualities found in fresh whole milk. What's that one called yogurt? I thought yogurts were some kind of people from India. <laughs> you must be thinking of yogis. Yogurt is really an ancient dairy food which is becoming quite popular again today. It's a thick, smooth, custard-like food with a special tangy taste. It's made by mixing cultured bacteria with fresh, fluid, partially skim milk and is enriched by the addition of non-fat dry milk. Of course, there are ways to process milk so we can enjoy the food value without concern about refrigeration. Dry milk, either whole or non-fat, for example, has the liquid removed.
You mean they can squeeze the water out of milk? How do they do that? Well, <laughs> squeezing isn't quite the right term. First, after the milk is pasteurized, part of the water is removed under vacuum pressure, as shown on the gauge, which leads to concentrated milk. Then, the concentrated milk is sprayed into a heated drying chamber, three stories high, which evaporates the rest of the water. The solid particles that are left fall to the bottom of the dryer, and it's like a powder then. You mentioned that milk is pasteurized before it is processed. Is all milk treated this way? Well, yes. You see, under Michigan law, all grade A fluid milk is pasteurized before it can be sold. Pasteurization destroys any disease-producing bacteria, but does not change the flavor or food value of milk. And most milk is homogenized, which distributes the butterfat particles throughout the milk to make sure that every drop right to the bottom of your glass has the same good taste. Now, any more questions? My mother keeps telling me that milk is nutritious. It's good for me, but what makes milk so special? Why is it better than anything else I like to drink? Then say, sweetened, flavored soft drinks? Yeah. Well, just compare the nutrients of milk with sweetened, flavored drinks. Notice that milk is very high in calcium. Now, the other drink, as you see, is mostly empty calories. No matter how much of the other beverage you drink, you simply cannot get the important vitamins and minerals found in milk. Milk has been called nature's nearly perfect food for many reasons. It's the mineral calcium in milk that makes it possible for our bones to grow strong. In fact, calcium is needed for skeletal growth, development of dental tissues, and their maintenance throughout your whole life. Calcium also regulates many body processes that represent life itself, such as muscle contraction when you touch something hot, or the clotting of blood to prevent fatal bleeding when a blood vessel is broken. Your heart couldn't keep up its continuous action without calcium. Without milk and other dairy foods, you probably could not get enough calcium in your diet. In addition, all dairy foods contain high quality proteins which your body uses to build new cells and to repair or maintain existing cells. Proteins are also a source of energy. Milk also contains other important nutrients like vitamins A, D, and B2. Vitamin A helps prevent night blindness, in which the eyes fail to adapt to changes of light and dark. A lack of vitamin A can result in the failure of young animals to grow. Vitamin D aids in the absorption of calcium to prevent rickets. And vitamin B2, also called riboflavin, is a growth promoter that helps your body cells to fully use oxygen. That means you can play or work longer. And every day, new things are being discovered about dairy foods. But how do you invent new foods? For instance, at Michigan State University, many scientists are at work in the development of new dairy foods, as well as in animal research. Basic research is discovering ways to help each animal produce more milk than ever before possible. In this case, the scientists are extracting some of the partially digested food from the cow so that they can learn how food affects the health and milk production of the animal. As the population of Michigan, the nation, and the world increases, the computerized dairy farm of the future will have to produce more dairy foods with less land, as shown in this multiple-story dairy barn. And for the future of the modern farmer Brown, the imagination and foresight of the dairy industry will lead to greater efficiency so he can supply us with more milk and still more delicious dairy foods. The world of Farmer Brown has indeed changed to keep up with our space age. It promises to continue the trend toward specialization, to reach out with higher quality living for all of us. The Michigan Dairy Farm, the world of Farmer Brown has changed, is changing, and will continue to change. Watch for these changes and consider how the dairy industry changes your world, too.